All right, my friends. Welcome back into the drum barn. So today, we are going to show you how to please the crowd. These are the crowd-pleasing licks that you want to have. Okay, so I got my rock set up here with pretty minimal uh, toms. But we're going to talk about combinations. And whenever you hear really crazy drum stuff, it's usually going to be a combination of, you know, singles and double strokes with the hands. But a lot of times it's going to be these combinations between the hands and your feet. And if you have two bass drums, you can obviously apply this to your left foot as well. We're just going to deal with one bass drum here for now. But the first lick is just three notes, okay? You're going to put your right hand on the floor tom and your left hand on the snare, and then it's going to be the kick right, left, bass. And try to play it in a steady rhythm, even if you're going really slow. Okay, so my drum teacher showed it to me like that, you know, with, with your right hand on the floor, Tom. And I could barely do it you know, <laughs> at all, let alone fast. So the thing to remember with all this stuff is it takes a lot of time to get really fast with it. You gotta give yourself a lot of time. I'm talking like years, not even just months, you know, to get where you really wanna go with it. Okay, so the key is to stay at it and recognize that if you're not playing it 100% clear, you need to slow it down. Okay, so when you, when you go to play it faster, <laughs> You gotta make sure the bass drum is separate, or you wanna think of the bass drum as being basically like a third arm, is how your approach concept should be. Okay, so that's lick number one, right, left, bass. Okay, now the next step with that would, would be to move your right hand around to the different drums, you know, however many toms you have set up. And try to keep your left hand on the snare for now. Okay, the next step would be move your left hand around to the different drums, but try to keep your right hand maybe on your low floor tom if you have two floor toms, like on this setup here. Okay, the next step would be to stay true to this sticking of right, left, bass, right, left, bass, but your hands can go anywhere. Um, they can even hit cymbals or whatever else you have on your kit. Um, try not to think so much about the sticking as just kind of listen to what's coming out um, wherever your hands happen to fall. Okay, I'll give you one more way to play this, and that's the way John Bonham played it and many other drummers. Uh, but a lot of us think of John Bonham, of course, the great drummer from Led Zeppelin. And it's the same sticking, right, left, bass. But you're going to start on the snare, and your left hand is going to stay up here on your high tom. And then you're going to go to the floor tom with your right hand. Okay, so right, left, bass, right, left, bass. Your right hand is moving back and forth. Okay, so it's really important to play these combinations in time. Okay, so uh, if you play that lick three times, and then come to the snare, you know, for, for a beat four, that would equal one measure of time. So always have a time reference when you're working on these combinations. And they can also be applied to different note values and, and different uh, rhythms. Um, so keep that in mind too. But for today, we're gonna move on to the next combination, which is two hits with your hands, right, left, and then two hits on the bass drum. 
And all you double pedal players, try to do this with just single pedal. I would highly recommend doing that first. And then you can obviously apply it to your double bass too. Okay, so here's another one you want to practice in time, and you're basically thinking 16th notes. So when you're just working on speed, I would maybe concentrate on just the snare drum. Just concentrate on one surface at first. Then you can move around, and you know, there are really no rules if once you really get going and get comfortable with the combination. Okay, so how do you play those two fast bass drum notes? <laughs> That's what you want to know, right? Okay, so you, you kind of have to get the pedal to do uh, what the stick does when you do like a double, you know, a double stroke. You have to get the pedal to work for you. And the biggest problem that you can run into is um, when you have two fast notes to play, if you spend too much energy on the first note, you know, like that, you're never going to get that second note out. You spent all of your energy on the first note, you know, and um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound very choked. So at first you have to lighten up your touch on the bass drum to be able to play that fast. And then over time, you'll be able to play really strong and really fast. But at first, the way to approach it is to be very, very light. And you have to be playing with um, your foot about 75% of the way up the footboard, probably somewhere around there. And this is something you can feel out, just like the balance point of the stick. You know, where, is, where does the bass pedal uh, fit the best or feel the best to you? Okay, so these are things you have to figure out for yourself. All right, so that's combination number two. Um, the third one is going to be back to a triplet, back to a three note combination. All right, and we're going to start with a flam and then two bass drum notes. So the same technique is going to apply as far as, you know, how do you do these two bass drum notes very fast. You got to practice. Um, so anyway, um, like a classic fill that would incorporate uh, this particular combination would be uh, American band. Okay, a lot of drummers play with, I have two floor toms set up right now, but a lot of drummers play with just two toms, okay, so that's something. So that's the third combination, flam, bass, bass. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is kind of like the end of the song lick. Um, and you can do it during the middle of the song too, but I'll show you how to do it. At the very end, usually, you know, the whole band is going crazy, and a lot of times the drummer will get the last word. Okay, so that combination is right, left, right, bass. You want to go down your toms like that. Okay, so what I've seen um, when you try to get this happening, a lot of times the bass drum will want to come in a little too soon. Okay, so you have to wait for that fourth note. The fourth note is your foot. Okay, and how you should practice this is you know, slow at first. And try to just do one at a time. Play one, evaluate what it sounded like. Okay, and work on increasing your speed. Now, John Bonham and Steve Gadd play this lick, but they add a couple of extra ghost notes on the snare. Um, or in Bonham's case, 
an extra snare drum hit. Okay, so there's that lick. And this is also one that you can play around the drums. You know, you have right, left, right, right, left, right, bass. Okay, once you learn these combinations, use your imagination. It's very, very important. All right, so for a bonus, I'm going to give you one more. This one's a little bit harder. It's a six tuplet rhythm, which means there's six notes. Okay, so you're going to do four hits on the snare two hits on the bass drum. Alright, so I hope you can use those licks. I'm sure you've heard them in many songs and you've seen, you know, great drummers on YouTube doing this stuff. Maybe you didn't quite know. Maybe you already know. There's drummers of all, you know, levels and ages watching this. So hopefully uh, for the young cats, I taught you something uh, that you can please the crowd with because they love the crowd pleaser. And my dad, who's a great trumpet player, he always says, keep it going. You don't do it long enough. So when you get that crowd pleaser lick down, keep it going. Thank <laughs> you.